Hello, everyone. So today I would like to talk about um, pivot table that we just like we learned in the class. So today I would like to add on uh, more features in pivot table that you may use. So firstly, when we talk about the pivot table, uh, we usually use the data that looks similar to like what we have for this one. Pivot table is a tool that help us in order to um, turn the data into whatever view that we want. And also we can add some more um, pivot chart and some data visualization tools in your pivot table to show the data uh, when you would like to just like see some information that um, just the regular kind of table, you have to just like manually um, calculate it or manually add some functions such as some such as average by yourself. So um, in this example, uh, we use a data file and then I will create um, pivot table for um, different things that we have got. Okay, firstly, I will talk about the way in order to create our pivot table. In order to create pivot table, we just go to insert menu, go to pivot table. And after that, you choose the cells that you would like to create the, what, um, the pivot table. In this one, I would like to use every single cells in our worksheet. Uh, um, you may choose all the work, um, all the data in your worksheet first before we really create the pivot table. Once I highlight all the cells that I would like to create a pivot table already, I just click insert menu pivot table. After that, in this one, choose table or range. That's a, that is our worksheet and have the whole worksheet data. Um, we would like to create a new pivot table in the new worksheet. Then you just choose new worksheet and then click OK. So right now, this is pivot table. On the right hand side, this is pivot table fields. Uh, um, we can also just like choose pivot table, uh, the fields that you would like to display in our pivot table in the um, four things out of this. To filter, that means you want to filter your data uh, um, by using like different fields or different columns that we have got. Fields and columns are similar. Uh -huh. Next, um, we choose um, columns uh -huh, for like whatever data that you want to show it in column. Rows means that the data that you want to show in different rows. And sigma values uh -huh, is the action that we are going to do. For example, in this one, uh -huh, the first pivot table, I would like to um, show the data for the sales year, I have sales year in each column. So that means in each column here, we will see year 2016, 2017, 2018 will be shown in different columns. And on the right hand side, we have grand total that we will just like sum all of the value I have in the same row together. Next for the rows. If I say that I want to show different products in different rows, I drag product to the rows box I have in here. You can see that each row, we have different products that are EHD, flash drive, and so on. And then we have grand total. Now you can see that on the um in the table itself, it's nothing in here. It's a blank one because we haven't shown any values yet. Um, If you would like to show the value, you just drag in this one, suppose I say that I want to show sales. Let's see. In our, our original data, sales is here. It shows us for the amount of money that we just like may um, sell it to our customer. In this one, I drag sales into sigma values here. So it will add, um, it will be added for the sum of the sales automatically. Actually, you can see that in here, it shows the sum of sales for us automatically, but you can also just like change to be other thing. Uh, I'll show you in the next example. So right now you can see that you have the sales of like each product in each year already. Instead of just like um adding the things by yourself by using some function, 
you can just create a pivot table and then just like drag it to values and choose a function that you want to use. In this one, the default function is the sum function. Now I want to um, format sales to be currency first so that you can just like see the um, data according to the um, currency that we have got. This one, I have, okay. <clears throat> if you want to filter um, this data by some other field, such as by salesperson and by sales region, you can drag them into um, the filter box. Have, if I add salesperson, sales region, you can see that on the top, you see it's a salesperson that you can choose from. In this one, we have Alexander Arnold, Becker, Kita, and Van Dish. While the sales region, we also have Africa, Asia, Europe, North America, at, according to what you need. Now, I named this worksheet as Pivot Table 1. Okay. Now, after that, we are going to do the next thing. Now, All right, after we finish talking about the first example in the pivot table already, the next example in the pivot table, I will show you that instead of using some function, if we would like to use um, other functions in the bottom right box for the sigma values here, which one that we can use. In case that we would like to have the um, average values of this data, according to the criteria that we set up, what are we going to do? In this one, I chose like all the sales that I want to have in my pivot table first. I'll create another pivot table. We go to insert menu, pivot table, check and make sure that this is, these are the data that you would like to have in your pivot table, create a new worksheet. This one, <clears throat> it will be the Second pivot table that we have got, I named this one as pivot table two. For this pivot table, I want to show the average values. So in this case, I choose sales years. I have sales years in column. I choose products. And then salesperson have in the row because I want to see the average values that each salesperson can sell um, for each product in each year in average. And for the value, I will just like um, drag some of sales. Um, sorry, some of sales. So that means I drag sales for two times. Sales. And then it shows some of sales automatically. I drag sales to the sigma value again. So right now you can see that on the bottom right corner it shows some of sales twice, right? I want to um change the second sum of sales to be average. What should I do? I have to click on the drop down list of the sum of sales. Um, the menu that I have to use. This is what we call context menu. We choose value field setting. So in this one, when we choose value cell setting already, you rename it to be average. Sales. And then you just change to be some value field by average. And then you click OK. All the values right now, it will be shown as two columns in each year. Now, let me just like format the sales first. Let's choose it as currency with a dollar sign. In this one, you can see that in each column, in each year, sorry, I have um, year 2016 with sum of sales, average of sales I have in each column. Okay, let me rename it again. I have this one, average of sales. Okay, should be like this. Okay. 
year 2017 as well you have sums of sale and average of sales นะครับ until the last one you have total column column total sum of sales and total average of sales this is a way to add another values นะครับ in um in each sale as well um in the previous example นะครับ pivot table one we had just sum of sales only but in pivot table two นะครับ I want to add another column that is called average of sales นะครับ okay this is the way that we can do it ครับ okay for the third นะครับ for the third pivot table that I would like to show to you นะครับ is that I would like to use other values นะครับ to be displayed in this case นะครับ we will create the new pivot table ครับ we go to the data tab นะครับ highlight all of the values that we have got click insert and then pivot table in this one นะครับ we just just like create a new worksheet again ครับ now you name this worksheet as pivot table three. Now, this pivot table, I would like to show you about the grand um, percent of grand total. Now, okay, so we just choose sales years in the column. In the rows, we do the same thing. We choose salesperson. One below, uh -huh. We choose salesperson uh -huh. and then we also choose um, sales quarter, uh -huh. sales quarter in the rows. Okay, so that we can see the um, sales that each sales representative can sell in each quarter. Uh -huh. Then I would like to just like show the sums of sales as a basic one. Then we just choose sales, นะครับ drag in sigma values box, and then we also add another add another sales, นะครับ in the uh, value box here, so that we can have two columns, นะครับ of the sum of sales. Now for the sums of sales too, we will change it, ครับ so everyone just click on the drop down list of summer sales too นะครับ choose the value field setting and in this one we rename it ครับ to be percent of gt means that percent of the grand total นะครับ and after that you click on show value as ครับ show value as in the drop down list we choose percent of grand total นะครับ percent of grand total and then you click OK so in this one นะครับ I will just like um set up the um format of each column first นะครับ OK be currency นะครับ and change um currency you need to be US dollars okay so on the right hand side column of each year นะครับ this is number of percentage นะครับ when we just like um calculate to it you can see that for okay I'll show Alexander and Arnold first up in here you can see that for Alexander Arnold, in each quarter, นะครับ um actually totally he sold um in 2016 he sold 8.01 percent, นะครับ that composed of quarter one 1.75 percent, quarter two 2.05 percent, quarter three 2.16 percent and quarter four 2.04 percent. ครับ these are just like the um proportion of the sales that Alexander Arnold would do in each quarter นะครับ 
um, if you sum up the percent of GT in each quarter, you get percent of GT for Alexander Arnold in year in each year. Uh -huh. So similar to Becker, Kira, Wandish, uh -huh, and um, grand total for year 2016 is 32.40%. Okay, so this is the way in order to use percent of GT in um in um pivot table huh? And in this pivot table, I also show you that you can also create the um pivot chart huh, from the pivot table that you have got as well. How can we create pivot chart? Huh? So um in the pivot table huh, that you created already, you can click on any cell that you have got huh, um in the pivot table. After that, you click insert huh? and then choose pivot chart. You choose pivot chart. Huh? It tells you that, okay, which pivot chart that you can create. Huh? Suppose you use line chart, okay, here. Huh? And then you just like create the area to show the part, the line chart. If you say that you want to have like couple of line chart, uh, sorry, couple of charts, couple of pivot charts in this sheet, you can also click on um any cells in pivot table and have then we choose insert choose pivot chart again in this one assume that you want to use pivot chart okay, as a pie chart so when you just like um create many um charts together in the same sheet and have we call normally we call this kind of page or screen as the dashboard. So dashboard is the board that controls the viewing of different kind of charts together at the same time. I'll create a couple of more charts in here. Okay. Okay. So you can see that actually. Each pivot chart has its built-in um, filter already. But sometimes if you want to have a tool that can just like show how do we going to have the um, values here, uh, we can also just like choose the tools that we call it as the um, slicer. Uh, that is a filtering tools in um, in our pivot chart and p um yeah in power our pivot chart or the dashboard easily uh, in order to create the dash um in order to create a slicer you just click insert uh, and then go to slicer here uh, but you have to make sure uh, while you are creating the slicer the um um the mouse uh, the active cell must be clicked on any charts or any pieces of data in your um pivot table otherwise uh, have a look up Right now, if I just like um click on cell D41 and then I choose slicer, it shows error and I have there's no connection found. That means you cannot create any slicers from here. But if you click anywhere in the chart or anywhere in the pivot table, and I have once you click slicer, it asks you that okay, these are possible slicer that you can create. For example, I want to create slicer by product, by salesperson, I have and by sales quarter. Once I choose slicers that I want to have already, I can click OK. Now, I have these are called slicer. For the slicer, it is the filtering tools that you can just like use tapping or clicking on any um, slicer in order to show the chart in the dashboard and have to move differently. For example, I want to know everyone's sales I have in quarter three. You can see that in here. It just show the data in quarter one, um, quarter three only. I have in here. If you want just quarter one, you can see that there are movements in the pivot chart. I have. If I want to see the sales of Kita in quarter one, I have quarter two, I have quarter four. I have. These are just like the thing that we can do. I have in order to use pivot chart. I have and pivot tables together with the slicer. I have right okay okay the next pivot table I have is that I would like to show the pivot table with the percent of different how do we gonna create the pivot table to show I have percent of different 
um, the way in order to do นะครับ we do the similar way as we did with um, other pivot table one two and three นะครับ we highlight the cells that you want to create pivot table first click insert pivot table and then just like create the new worksheets after that นะครับ we do similar way as we did with just like um, pivot table one two and three We choose rows uh -huh, as salesperson and sales month uh -huh, while the values you choose sum of sales. Uh -huh, so choose sales twice. So right now you can see that um, in our pivot table, it shows sum of sales and sum of sales too. We will change sum of sales too to be other thing, not have to be percent of different. So we click on the drop down list of sum of sales too and change value field setting. We click, oh, sorry, we rename first. I choose percent diff. And then I click on show value as tab. In this one, we click up and choose percent difference from up percent different from up. and sales month we use previous. So when we choose like this, it means that it will show the difference up, of the um, percentage of the difference from the previous sales month. For example, up, in this one, um they will just like show us that okay for february นะครับอ่า uh, it's changed from 6 um 676874 to be 530766 uh, how many percents are there for this difference have you click okay ครับ so you can see that these are just like the thing that we have got ครับอ um, okay let me just like format the sales of it You can see that in here, นะครับ from Jan sales to Feb sale, it's decrease, นะครับ because it's from six seventy six thousand to be five thirty six thousand, ครับ it's decreased for twenty one point five nine percent, นะครับ while um the sales from February to March from five thirty thousand is increasing to be seven twelve thousand, นะครับ it's increasing from the previous month for thirty four point one eight percent. So this is just like a percent of the difference from the previous month. Okay. You rename this table as pivot table four. Okay. All right. The next pivot table that I would like to show is that we are going to find out the percent of the um value that is a part of the accumulation from the total value that we have got okay so firstly we do the same thing we insert the new pivot table as a new sheet right now you name the pivot uh, the sheet as pivot table five for the pivot table five here We just choose rows uh -huh, from sales years and sales month. And then for the sum values, uh -huh, you choose sales two times. Okay. So right now we will change. Okay, let me just like format the sale first before we start changing it. For the sum of sales too, we will change it. So in this one, we go to choose 
from the drop down list, choose value field setting. We rename it as percent run total. In here, you click show value as tab cup. Choose percent running total in. And then we choose sales month field. Uh -huh. So what does it mean in here? It means that it will show you how many percent uh -huh, as the accumulated percent for the whole year uh -huh, for each month. So in this one, you can see that, okay, um, assume that we talk about the sales in 2016, I have $10.3 million, right? So when January sales is $771,000, it's 7.42% of $10 million. Then in February, I have, we sold $867,000. For the percentage we sold in February plus the percentage that you sold in January, it becomes 15.77. These are accumulative percentage have, of the sales of each month. Um, until December, have, you sold um, from, um, from the November uh, month, November, and I have you sold to be 91.7% of the whole year already. In December, you sold um, 854,000. It means that it's around like um, 8.22%. Um, 8 so it comes to 100% in total of year 2016. This one is the same thing with 2017 and 2018 cup. It's just like the accumulated value of, for the sales of each month nah, cup, that we sold. Nah, cup, that is a part of 100% of that year sold. For the next pivot table, nah, cup, I want to show how do you gonna rank nah, cup, the sales. So in this one, we just do the same thing, cup. We just like create the pivot table from our data worksheet that we have got, cup. We go to insert pivot table and then just like create it as a new worksheet. Cup. In this one, we choose sales year in the column, cup. We choose sales person in the row. And we choose sales twice in sigma value. The second one, for the sig uh, for the sums of sales too, we go to change it up. We go to value field setting, rename the field as ranking. After that, we choose show data as. And then from the drop down list. We choose show value as rank largest to smallest. And then we choose like, best view with salesperson. So this one means that it will help ranking the sales like, in each year that, okay, for Alexander Arnold, okay, let me just like um format the sale first like, so that you can see the numbers easily. In this example of the um, pivot table, you can see that when we compare Arnold, Baker, Kida, and Bandish in the sales of the year 2016, rank number one is Baker. Have, Baker could sold the most, I have 2.674 million. Um, while Kida sold as a second rank, I have 2.647 million. When you talk about year 2017, Kida sold the most cup, 2.987 million, while the second one goes to Alexander Arnold, he sold 2.879 million. On the year 2018, it is like this. And then we see the total ranking of these three years cup. Um, salesperson who sold the most is Kida. He could sell up to 8.336 million, while the second one is um, Alexander Arnold. 8.158 million and a half. And the third one is um, Baker, 8.071 million. 
and last one it is Vandish sold 7.497 million นะครับ so these are just like the way to do the ranking of some values นะครับ in this example is the um, ranking of the sum sum of sales of each salesperson Okay, for the um this pivot table, นะครับ, we name it as pivot table six. For the next feature in pivot table, นะครับ, I will just like show you how do we gonna filter our pivot table, ครับ. So in this one, I would like you to just like create a new pivot table, นะครับ. Um, choose the data, นะครับ, the sales for the data sheet first, then click insert and pivot table once again, create it as a new worksheet, นะครับ. We will name this worksheet as pivot table seven. This pivot table, นะครับ, we just like choose the basic sales, ah, uh, basic values such as product, นะครับ, ah, uh, we filter by product, and then rows, นะครับ, we choose sales month, and values we choose sales. Right. So, what would I like you to see, Hap? If you have a look, Hap, if you have a look, you can see that in here. Um. Okay. Let me just like format the sales a bit. Hap. In this one, you can see that for the um. For the filter, I have in here we choose product, right? So you can see that in row one it shows products all right now. It means that you can choose what product that you would like to see because right now, I have in our pivot table it shows just like the total sales of every product in each month. If you just like click from the drop down list of the product, it asks you that what product would you like to see. In this case, suppose you would like to see flash drive, so um sales. Now you click flash drive, and then you click OK. So this will be the sales of just the flash drive. If you want to see phone charger, these are just like the sales of just phone charger in each month. So we can just like add the um filter for like our data in the pivot table too. So, all right, for the next um, pivot table features that I would like to show is that you may filter by using more than one criteria at a, at a time by using the value. So in this one, we are going to create the um, new pivot table. We just like um, choose the sales that we want to create in a pivot table first. Choose insert pivot table and then create a new worksheet. We rename this worksheet as pivot table eight. For the pivot table eight here, assume that we choose just like the basic values first. We chose sales region and product as the rows. And the values we show sales up, sum of sales in here. I set up the format of these sales first. In this one, when we have got this already, okay, I have two criteria that I want to apply. <clears throat> I say that criteria for filtering I have one. I want to filter when sales region is greater than 8.1 million dollars. Also, I want to filter when the products is greater than 2.1 million. So how do we gonna filter by using pivot table filter feature here? So you can see that when we have two um filtering features here, and the filtering criteria is a um is a value in here. 
you go to this one cup you see go um you go to the row levels here because sales region and product are the things that we choose in the rows right you click on the drop down list of the row level cup first you see um the drop down list inside this box we have sales region and products now have we choose sales region first and then we choose value filter cup in this one criteria, say that we want to filter when sales region is greater than 8.1 million, right? We choose value filter greater than, and then you enter 8.1 million. And then you click OK. So the data will be filtered for any value that is greater than, that, that sorry, the sales region that is greater than 8.1. I have million already. A um Africa is eight point three million. Asia is eight point one million. Now, the second filtering criteria is this product cup. So you can see that there are not many products. That is the sales is greater than two point one million. I have um in this one if you just like screen by your eyes you see phone charger in Africa. I have uh flash drive in Asia. These are just like two of the data that should be shown here. The way in order to filter, you add another filter criteria. You click on the row labels again. Choose in the drop down list, choose products. Now, we choose value filter greater than um, product. We would like to um, filter the product when the sums of sale of the product is greater than two. Um, 0.1 million. Uh, you enter 2.1 million. Uh, and then you click OK. You can see that right now it helps filtering out lots of data. Uh, we have just like phone charger and flash drive mm -hmm. left. Phone charger is from Africa and, a, um, and flash drive is of Asia. Uh, so these are the way in order to apply different um, filtering criteria into your pivot table. Uh, Okay, and for the last pivot table that I would like to show you is a pivot table that I use to criteria in order to filter the data. And then I'll just like show you the visualization tools that we use. Um, data bar to show. Okay, so firstly, I would like to create the new pivot table. Uh -huh. In this one, we choose sales year and sales month in the row and some, um, and sales in the value uh -huh, so that it shows the sum of sales here. Then you just like highlight um, the sales, uh -huh, the sales first. After that, uh, we will filter uh -huh, by two criteria. The first criteria is that the months that contain the letter ER. Uh -huh. So what to do? We just click on the um, filter uh -huh. and then just choose sales month. Then for the level filters, you just like choose contain and then, and then you choose ER. Uh -huh. So it will filter only the, um, the month that is ended with ER. Uh -huh. When you click OK, these are the months that are ended with ER. The second criteria, you choose a sales that is greater than 900,000 for that month. You go to choose sales month. And then for the value filter, you choose greater than, and then you enter 900,000. So these will be the um, sum of sales for each month that is greater than $900,000. And that month um, name is ended or con contains the character ER. Okay, so you get like this data already. So the next thing, we can just like use the data bars to show the data in here. So if you want to use the data bar, we do the same thing as we did on our um, data visualization that we have got in here. So in this one, 
you can just like simply do um, the way that we did before. And I have we highlight the sales that you want to show the data bar. Choose home menu, conditional formatting, and then data bars. Then you can choose in this one. If you choose the um, sum of sales in here, uh -huh, you can see that, okay, these are the data bar that are showing according to the data that we filter. Uh -huh. Okay.